I was looking at the clock, buona sera tutti, and I was like, it's not moving because someone stopped it, Gabriel. I was like, this is like the longest seconds I've ever seen. Uh, this is Filippo Bartolotta. Welcome to Dinner in 15. This is a show where we crack open some of the greatest wines of Italy. We learn a little bit about it. We are going to be cooking. Uh, today we have uh, tomatoes, red hot chili, salt, garlic, uh, lemon, extra virgin olive oil, <laughs> some olives, capers, and some greenery here, which Sarah, Sara Lai, our chef will tell us in a second because she went to the fish market to buy some fish. The wine today is Masciarelli. Masciarelli is the name, is the symbol of wine in Abruzzo. Symbol of Renaissance, uh, Gianni Masciarelli together with uh, um, Marina, They've started off this incredible venture. Now Marina is running the show with her daughter and her wonderful staff. Uh, Villa Gemma is one of the most uh, precious lines uh, of, uh, of the, their portfolio. It's a rosé wine from Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. We'll tell you all about it in a second. Maybe Sarah... Eccoci. Sarah is coming. Ciao a tutti. Ciao, Eccola ciao. Eccola qua, benvenuta. Uh, Swordfish! She found swordfish. some nice fresh swordfish. So how are you going to cook this swordfish? Very quickly, of course. Okay. Just ch ch on the frying pan for two minutes per side. And mm -hmm. we pre prepare on the side cherry tomato, capers, black olives, as you said, lemon and all the Mediterranean flavor. This is a concentrate. Okay, I oh. can't wait to try it. So I'm actually happy that I, I chose a rosé with more body and structure than your average rosé. Si. Uh, because swordfish is one of those uh, uh, kind of like ingredients that could be good with whites. It could be good with some reds as well. I give you an example. You could go for some Nerello Mascalese from the Mount Etna. You can go maybe for some uh, uh, Pinot uh, Noir from Alto Adige. You can go with some Schiava, some uh, uh, Pella Verga. I'm talking about, uh, you know how Italy has got over 400 registered and used varieties for winemaking, right? The world drinks cups of Merlot, Pinot, if you want to be intellectual about it. Sauvignon Blanc Chardonnay, some Riesling, once again, if you want to show off. In Italy, there is thousands of varieties. 400 are what are in commonly used. So um, go in our website, follow our social media, subscri subscribe to our channel to learn all about Italian wines, learn all about the recipes, and if you want to join with a private class or an event, uh, go check, send us an email. If you want to cook with us in our real kitchen with Sara and I, just give us a shout. In the meanwhile, Sarah, I've seen you chopping uh, yes, uh, the cherry, cherry tomatoes. To cherry tomato. And then I will chop the capers. And I will pre prepare the super, super tasty seasoning. Come on, Sarah. I'm very well. Thank you very much. Fish uh, is... Uh, I love fish. I love fish as well. Like, and, and what I like about fish is that you don't have to work too much. I exactly. Mean, no. Don Alfonso Iaccarino always say that to cook fish, you need fish, only fish. Just <laughs> one second of cooking and fish is ready. Don't overcook the swordfish because it, it, it will be hard and stoposo. Uh, it will be like, uh, like uh, dry on your palate. Uh, so that's where there is only very few fish, like for instance, if you cook sepia, that is going to take longer to cook, right? Si. Uh, sepie... Totten is quick, sepie is, is long, right? Or is it vice versa? No, uh, they are the same family. You can choose to cook very for very few minutes, minutes or for a long time. Okay. For, so if you do sepie and zimino, it's, sepie a, it's zimino, a long time. It's like 40 a, minutes. a long cooking, yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to do a very fantastic pasta, even with this kind of seasoning, you have the uh, the totani. 
you can squeeze. chop the totani, the squid, very, very thin row, just put in the frying pan with the pasta, like with the spaghetti or uh, tagliolini, no, uh, linguine, sorry. Okay. With this kind of seasoning, all raw, of course, when the pasta is cooked, put the totani and the totani will cook with the um, warm mm -hmm. of the pasta. Perfetto. So uh, you can do that with the swordfish as well. So uh, Sarah is adding up uh, some extra info in this uh, uh, right now. She's saying basically See, what we're doing right now is preparation of a sauce ha un nome, isolana, come si chiama? Mediterranea. Mediterranea, yeah, it's kind of isolana. Isolana actually is with the potato. Okay, so there's no potatoes here, but you can prepare these ingredients. You just put them in on a frying pan, possibly non-sticky, so that's easier. For a few minutes, you chop some, uh, you see what's gonna happen with this, but eventually this could be the sauce for some pasta. And, si. uh, you know, once again, the pasta is boiling, just throw the pasta, once it's done together with the finishing of the sauce and you have an, actually, I'm in the mood for that right now. No, we'll let's do this. Would dopo, you like some pasta? Dopo si fa pasta con la sold. Of when, course. When this is over. Uh, Eight minutes, 35 is gone, amici. Andiamo un attimo mentre Sara keeps chopping some ingredients uh, right now, the lemon peel. Let's go back, look at the color. Um, this is a rosé, but it's almost like a red, a light red. Why? Because cerazuolo d'Abruzzo, cerasa means cherry. The color of cerazuolo has to be like cherry. This is not meant to be with a, a Provencal kind of color, okay? This is like a, a light red ruby. It's not a onion skin, it's not a rosé like with the pearl style. On the nose, I love, I have to get away from there a second. Yeah, thank uh, you. It is about sour cherries. A little bit of uh, um, thyme, some, a touch of black pepper, and a lovely uh, earthiness that comes through the wine. So quite complex for a rosé. Mm. And the palate is exactly how the expectations were about body. This is like a medium body rosé, so the restructure and it's like I'm chewing these incredible red berries, lovely acidity, and a lot of sweetness without any residual sugar. How do we say that? Juiciness. When you have sweetness, but it's not because of the sugar, the wine is juicy. This is red hot chili pepper. Red hot chili pepper, you just which I'm up. roasting it. Okay. I never do that. That's a good idea, because what you see. do if you do that? Uh, you will give some smokiness, okay, like so the chipotle. Okay, so you add up uh, uh, the fifth receptor, umami, like soy sauce. So when we talk about sapidity, uh, there is saltiness, which is saltiness. Sapidity is a word that sometimes we use in the wine trade, and uh, it's a description of something that is very flavorful uh, towards saltiness, but not salty. Okay, Man, uh, our amazing. seasoning is done. Quindi. But first of all, we have to cook okay. the swordfish. Why? Swordfish. Go for it. The, the frying pan has to be extremely hot. Okay. So how many minutes are you going to go for? One minute and one minute. One and one. Per side. Allora, Luigi, uh, let's look at this uh, for a second once again. Sarah, can you be so kind? Uh, you chopped everything, everything is raw. Yes, everything is raw, even the garlic, as you know me, I only use raw garlic. So, raw garlic, uh, raw cherry tomatoes, a little bit of parsley. Black olives, Black olives lemon, chopped. capers, lemon. extra virgin olive oil, a salt. little bit of salt, uh, just a little bit, because you have the capers and then I don't add so much salt inside the fish because Already the fish is salty. living inside salty water. Posso provare un po' per assaggiare e vedere cosa succede? Please. I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. What is the sweetness? The sweetness? Cherry tomato. Wow. 
black olives. Yes, those okay, so, actually. So the matching with the with that alone and the wine, there is something that is turning the wine a little bit into a bitter situation. So right now, guys, we have a situation because my dear chef. So far, these two are not working. <laughs> Warning. So when we do this, Sarah and I, you know that there is no cut and paste. This is a live show. Whatever happens, happens. Sarah, right now, I'm a little bit upset because no. the, whatever is in here, maybe it's the tomato, maybe it's the olive, is actually turning this wine into much of a bitter situation. See. My expectation, though, mm is that the swordfish has got meatiness, proteins, that is gonna break down some of the tannins of this wine and add up uh, an extra layer so that we can make it happen. Cook for just 30 seconds. The cherry tomato has to remain raw. Everything has to be fresh and crunchy. This is your wine, by the way, huh? Thank you very much. Ah, this lo mettiamo, ah, lo mettiamo lì. Sì. Io allora poi faccio così, prendo un piattino per me. Here we go. And here. Oh my god. So, ragazzi, guardate questo piatto. We're gonna call the pompieri now. Yeah, yeah. Fireman. Who's ringing? We already have a swordfish. <laughs> allora, guardate questo piatto. Look at this dish. We have three minutes to go. This time, Sarah, you have outdone yourself. Thank you very much. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Why don't not? be Don't be shy about the extra virgin olive oil. It's very uh, healthy. Abruzzo. Actually, uh, Marina Masciarelli uh, makes a wonderful extra virgin olive oil. This Villa Gemma, Cera Suolo di Vittoria. I actually didn't check the vintage, but I think it's uh, 20, 2020. Man, look, color, beautiful. We said that the seasoning wasn't working. Let's try the whole dish. Not the whole, a bite. As you can see, the, the swordfish inside is pink. It has to remain pink. Mm. Da, okay, da, da, da. swordfish si. and uh, wine is a winner. Si. Now let's try with a little bit of the ingredients going on. So I'm trying the swordfish, a little bit of the cherry tomatoes. Mmm, mmm. Che dici? Give me a minute. Ragazzi, I am extremely really happy. First of all, Sarah did a great job. Davvero, buonissimo. Un piatto pazzesco. Thank yeah, you. Pazzesco. It's because very it's simple. Very simple. Very, like, a, it's like very, just, you don't need to think about it, about this too much, right? It's fresh fish. Do you know what's happening after you put this a little bit, like maybe one minute? 30 all seconds. Of, all of a sudden, the garlic has become uh, more prominent. Mm. There is more sweetness to come through. The bitterness is gone, mm. and uh, I love this so much that that's what I'm gonna make tonight for dinner. Mm. Okay. Oiliness. See, just that. A little bit of burnt flavors. Add up uh, uh, another texture to this dish, making it a really intense one. That's why. I'm not sure actually white wine would have made it here. I was thinking about a Trebbiano da Bruzzo, but in the end, I, they make a really good one. But in the end, I decided to go for the Cerasuolo because the multiple channel structure, I think it was needed to go with this wine. I'm always looking there, but I'm, I'll talk to you, but I want to make sure that these guys know that we are with you. And uh, Viviana, non è che mi fici lì perché mancano 20 seconds. We are with you on our website, on our social media. Sub subscribe our channel. Yeah, you can do this, I can. Yeah, so please continue. Go, go. I'm starving. 
and uh, you will find this recipe and much more recipe so, on our website. Thank you very much, guys. Time is up. This was a perfect 15 minutes uh, dinner in 15. Yes. With Sarah Lai and Filippo Bartolotta. Ciao. We'll catch up with you later. Arrivederci. Ciao.